hi friends welcome to math plaza today we are going to know about pump affinity laws understanding this laws thoroughly will help you for mainly determining the power consumption when we run the pump with two different speed and two different impeller diameter and also changes in both speed and impeller diameter to make more clear one small example imagine you are running one pump at 1500 rpm and the pump drawing power is 10 kw once you reduce the rpm to 1200 what would be the power consumption this law will help us to determine the power consumption same thing when you think about impeller diameter changes you are running the pump with 240 mm diameter of impeller once you trim the impeller diameter to 200 mm what is the power consumption shall we start discussion yes let's go this is my second tutorial in this tutorial as i told you we are going to discuss about pump affinity laws if you want to know how to read the pump performance curves you can see that video in the description link please watch these tutorials continuously to know more about pumps pump affinity laws for centrifugal pumps in this tutorial we are going to discuss about this five topic pump affinity laws when constant impeller diameter pump affinity laws when constant speed affinity laws while changing both pump rotational speed and pump impeller diameter net positive section head versus pump speed pump affinity laws example calculation for centrifugal pump to understand about this pump affinity laws before we enter into the affinity laws we need to know the meaning of following q is capacity of pump or flow rate in liter per second h is total heat in meters n is pump speed in rpm bhp is brake horse power in kilowatt or pump input power pump affinity loss when constant impeller diameter so consider the impeller diameter is constant and the speed is going to change this law is going to help us to determine what is the flow rate pump head and brake horse power due to changes in the speed so 1.1 we discuss about the relationship between q and n so which is the flow rate and the speed so here clearly says flow rate changes directly proportional to the change in speed of the pump q directly proportional to the n so that is q1 by q2 equal to n1 by n2 okay One point two, pump head H changes directly proportional to the square of the change in speed of the pump. So that is H one by H two equal n one squared by n two squared. One point three, brake horsepower changes directly proportional to the Q of the change in speed of the pump. So PHP directly proportional n to the power of cube. That is PHP one by PHP two equal to n one cube by n two cube. Okay, two. Pump affinity loss when constant speed. So here we held speed as constant and the impeller diameter is going to change. This law is going to help us to determine what is the flow rate, pump head, and brake horsepower due to changes in the impeller diameter. Two point one is flow rate Q changes directly proportional to the change in impeller diameter d of the pump. So Q directly proportional to d. 
so that is q1 by q2 equal t1 by t2 2.2 pump head changes directly proportional to the square of the change in impeller diameter square of the change in impeller diameter that is h1 by h2 equal d1 square by t2 square 2.3 brake horsepower php changes directly proportional to the q of the change in impeller diameter so which is php directly proportional to t power of q so that is php1 by php2 equal to t1 cube by t2 cube so third one affinity loss while changing both pump rotational speed and pump impeller diameter so here the first one we remember the first one was impeller diameter constant and changes occurs in the speed in the second loss mention the speed is constant and the impeller diameter changes occurs the third one is nothing here both pump speed and pump impeller diameter is going to change so how the loss going to be 3.1 flow rate q changes q changes directly proportional to the change in speed of the pump and change in impeller diameter so q directly proportional to the nt that is q1 by q2 equal n1 d1 by n2 t2 3.2 pump head h changes directly proportional to the square of the change in speed of the pump and change in impeller diameter so h directly proportional to n d power of square that, that is h1 by h2 equal to n1 d1 square by n2 t2 power of square 3.3 brake horsepower php brake horsepower changes directly proportional to the cube of the change in speed of the pump and change in impeller diameter so php directly proportional to nd power of 3 that is p1 by p2 equal n1 d1 power of 3 by n2 t2 power of 3 so here the php they simplified as p1 so net positive section head versus pump speed to adjust pump net positive section head npsh from the values recorded during the test to another speed n the following formula should be used for example you know npsh 1 so how can you calculate npsh 2 okay so this formula is going to help you so consider the n1 the first rpm is 1500 okay at the 1500 rpm you are achieving 7 meter of net positive section head okay then once you increase the speed of the pump to 2000 rpm what would be the net positive section head what would be the npsh2 so in this formula if you apply this info you can get either npsh1 or npsh2 Good.